Hi, this is Michelle Ludela, and I'm going to talk to our students about ebooks. Um, we have three vendors from whom we buy electronic books. One is Gale, one is ABC Clio, and one is Follett. And typically, I don't talk to students about vendor information because I don't think they're interested. And normally, that's true. Only with ebooks, it impacts how you actually access and see and read the books. So we're going to start at the home page of NCHS Library. We're going to go to the online catalog. And here we are going to look for a book on the French Revolution. But we're, instead of doing material type, any type, we're going to choose electric book, ebook. And we'll do a keyword search, it's fine. We have six results, three different vendors. And how do you know that? It's hard to tell from here. So we're just going to click on the first one. We don't see in this area a hyperlink, which means that we need to look over here where it says read online. And that means it's a Follett ebook. And that is relevant for one reason and one reason only. You need to enter a password for it. And this is where we enter the password. And it is the same password we use for all of our Follett ebooks. So here is the ebook, and there are a couple of nice features in this browser based reader. Um, one is you can search. So if we were to search for the word bread, important factor in the French Revolution, you can see that we have a number of hits. All right, so that's one. You can also take notes, but in order to take notes, you will need to set up an account in the Follett browser based reader. And you can do that by registering here. I'm not going to go through all the steps with you. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to set up account, you can keep your notes here. Another feature, you can open the table of contents at any time, and you can choose a section of the book that you would like to go to. You have access to a dictionary. You may look up terms. This is really about the book. Uh, you can zoom and go out. You can turn to the next page. You can choose a page. I want to go to 73 or 34 in our case. There you go. You can look at two pages at a, at a time or just one only. This is an interesting feature. You can have it read to you. The Constituent Assembly 35 Source E, petition from Claude Louis Rousseau, a clergyman who had been a preacher at court, 30 May 1007. The reading is computer generated, it's not so great, especially if you're reading a book on the French Revolution. The pronunciation isn't going to be super. Um, and then you can close the book. We're going to go to the next vendor, and that would be this book, which I now know is an ABC Clio ebook. And the only way I know that, well, it says ABC Clio up here, that helps. Um, it's in the URL, which we are going to click on to access the ebook. And that brings us to a log on screen for ABC Clio products. And it's the same username and password we use for all of our ABC Clio accounts. And you are now at your ebook. You can see that you can print, you can email, you can cite it. That's a nice feature. Dictionary, you can link to it. You can make it smaller or bigger. You can add bookmarks. You can move through the book. By using the arrow keys if you want to go one page at a time, but you also have access to the table of contents. You can also search the ebook, look for the word Marie. There will be a ridiculous number of instances of that, and you have lots and lots of results. Remember to click through the pages, and we're going to go to the next category, which is this one. And this is a Gale ebook. Nothing up here to say read online. Instead, you have a link down here, and you can see it says it's in the Gale Virtual Reference Library. And now you have to enter a password, and it is the same password we use for all of our Gale resources. And you have your results here. Okay, so to read your books, you just search and you click. And then over here you have your tools. You can view PDF pages, you can print a review, you can download it, you can download an MP3 and listen to it. You also have the listening feature here, and you have citation tools. You can also change the language. For those of you with e-readers, 
or smartphones, we there is an app for the Gale eBooks, and that's in Access My Library. And if we go to the eBook collection, you'll see that you have all of them listed here, and you can open them and search them and read them on your iPad. The iPhone app is a little bit trickier because the ebooks and the databases are all merged together and you use you can use one search field for all of the resources in the collection so that would include all the databases and all the ebooks. Um, it's an excellent app. Kids love it. It's available for Droid, iPhone, and iPad. You can use your portable devices browser to read ebooks from ABC Clio and from Follett. The Follett ebook reader is flash dependent, so if you have a Mac portable device, an iPad or an iPhone, you will not be able to read it with all of the functionality that I showed earlier. But there is at the very bottom a little button that says if you don't have flash click here and you can read it like in PDF. Um, that will change in December. So if you're watching this after December of 2011, then it's already changed. Thanks.